All right, this video here is a tutorial on how to put together the low voltage XT60 power strip available at jack35.com. And you want to make this because it allows you to put a bunch of battery packs sort of like this, also like this, and it's pretty versatile. You could pretty much uh, use it any way you want. But today I'm just gonna show you the basic uh, assembly of this right it will require you to solder connectors into this board uh, and this is sold as a, in a kit form right so you get all the parts and then you can just put it together yourself so let's get started the kit comes like this in a bag with a bunch of connectors and a bunch of little stuff so let's pull it out okay there's one Here's the other one, and the PCBs, and then the hardware. So you get four boards right here, and they have this line here that says cut here. That is going to be for different projects that I am going to be uploading, where I show you how to use these, right? And then at that point, I will specify whether you have to cut it or you use the entire one, right? So for now, just ignore that. We're gonna you know, populate the entire thing. So this is the hardware, you put that aside. These are pigtails, we'll leave those till the very end. Let's concentrate on this guys. So you're gonna get a bunch of these XT60s. Then you're gonna get some of these XT90 connectors. Uh, and then about six of these pigtails. The gender on these are not super critical. You just gotta make sure you have sets, right? So this is the female, you know, male. And you gotta make sets, right? So here are three sets. And then here are four sets. And then you have two extra ones. And these you can use them for a bunch of different things. Depending on the project you're gonna make, you know, you can use them as an exit, right? So that you can, this is this is where your power is gonna be removed from the battery or to connect in between. Uh, yeah, you basically have the freedom to use these to connect power in or out of the battery pack, right? And it will, it will be much clearer once we get going with this. So. Let's start with the XT60s. You will need a soldering iron uh, and some solder, right, to do this. Um, in this case, I'm using this battery powered one, right? And you want this to be hot, right? So in this case, I'm gonna go all the way up to 400 degrees. 400 degrees because some of these are like really it needs a lot of heat right so here we go make sure you get one of these to clean the tips all right make sure whatever you do they're all facing the right way if you put one backwards in there it's gonna be bad news you start with one you gotta leave at least one of them uh, and I usually leave the first one off right because that's where you're gonna use that one to connect to the next one here we go right so they're all facing the, the same direction then what you do is you flip it over and there we go try not to move it you just leave it there then you grab your soldering right and then you start going to town here it goes nice and hot yeah, look at that. And then you just gotta make sure it just kind of flows. There we go. That's a, that's a perfect joint right there. Make sure you, you do it quick so that you don't start melting the connector. All 
right so depending on your project of course uh, sometimes you're gonna have to cut this now I suggest you cut this before you populate all these because you might just be wasting some of these right so do this before and then then you know exactly what to populate but cutting this should be pretty simple you can take uh, 10 snips like this and just cut them uh, this is I think sheet metal pliers right so yeah this is one ounce uh, copper in here so it's kind of the thick stuff but it's very easy to you know cut it like that all right so here we see uh, one of these uh, setups that I'm working on right so you connect two of these boards to each other using these right and you just solder them like that and then you can connect them and then you use this other one to either remove the power from this board right so another thing that I like to do here is I like to protect the back using captain tape this is stuff is really good NASA used this in uh, their you know to protect their a lot of their systems back in the 60s when they went to the moon so captain tape is pretty awesome and i like to protect the back of these units using this right there we go this withstands heat i think i want to say like up to 200 300 degrees Fahrenheit something like that so this is really good also once you have these in you can start using the uh, the hardware here right so you get a bunch of these little standoffs right and now what I usually like to do well you now you'll have to make holes in the uh, the tape that you just put on here, right? There we go. Then you use this guy, you put it in here. Then you put a little nut. There we go. Then do it again. here we go these are already done here right it's got the tape they're connected they have the little uh, standoffs here then we're gonna use the screws to mount those to whatever cabinet you're gonna do and of course you can do a million different applications for this right these are just the one that I'm doing right now where I cut the tips but to use the whole things like if you're doing a cabinet sort of like this one here then you have to use all of them, right? These are like full on 10 piece, right? 10 of these uh, connectors, then connected to the next one, right? This is the second one and then the third one. And then the fourth one here, that one is cut, right? So it's cut at the line here. And this one also, oh, the top one only has one, two, three, four, right? So that's the original kit that I made that's why you will only get 34 of these guys uh, and the same amount of these little screws and holes just to so you can make this one setup right here but also I'm doing this other setup here and that's what I'm trying here so let's let's uh, screw it on here and see how to finish that one Here's how a finished uh, bus bar looks like connecting these fireproof ones for batteryhookup.com. Uh, but you can use these on the hoverboard ones and all kinds of other battery packs that have the XT60 connector.